everyone and welcome to the captain's video blog. We are Tuesday, um, uh, October the, no, November the 1st, yeah, uh, 2016. So, um, <laughs> unlike what I thought, I have not been able to, um, to, uh, well, do so that I could do the video blog, um, pretty early. Uh, mainly because uh, well, due to unforeseen, really, um, uh, well, due to unforeseen causes, I would say, yeah, conditions, um, I've only, uh, left my bed around five or six in the afternoon. Um, I'm still not sure how that happened, but anyway, um, you know, I'm waiting for a um, couple of items coming from from uh, from abroad, and uh, well, I didn't expect uh, Poland to not have an, a holiday on November the first. No, mainly because well, I, they are a very uh, Christian country, and even here where we're not really really Christian, uh, it's All Saints Day. Yeah, so um, I'm just filling up bottle of water. Um, supposed to be, you know, a holiday, but uh, then again, what do I know? Maybe they celebrate that another point in the year, or maybe it's just because um, the truck or the plane only crossed Germany. I don't know. Anyway, <coughs> so, uh, I've watched Raw, and, uh, well, I mean, wasn't really good, let's be honest here. Um, I mean, it's raw, what do you expect? That's pretty much what the tagline would be when raw isn't really good, but uh, yeah. Uh, mainly, you know, they've made so that uh, yesterday's, uh, um, uh, Sunday's um, pay-per-view amounted to, to nothing. Um, you know, Rusev fought well on uh, in the in the Hell in a Cell opener, and uh, for lack of a better word, got fed to to Bill Goldberg. Um, <coughs> uh, the, the thing is, Goldberg said that he had one jackhammer and one spear uh, in him, and he he made the ja he did the jackhammer to to Rusev, and then did you know speared uh, Paul Heyman very weak spear. I don't know why Paul Heyman had to be transported to, to a hospital, but uh, yeah, I mean, doesn't that mean that he doesn't have anything anymore in him to face Brock Lesnar? That's a bit concerning, but uh, yeah. <coughs> um, the, the second thing is, um, well, the results of the tag team match, uh, you know, between Enzo and Cass and uh, and um, uh, Gallows and Anderson, who, um, you know, Gallows and Anderson won, a and then Enzo and Cass came out tonight, uh, dressed up as as uh, Woody and uh, Buzz Lightyear, cut another promo about Andy and Big Gal, yeah, probably Big Gal, you know, would fit with Gallows, uh, yeah, <coughs> and, uh, you know, we're at a point where I... I think that Gallows and Anderson would have been better off not coming to the WWE because, I mean, they've won on pay-per-view, but they have lost a street fight with a kind of botched uh, pumpkin spot. You know, it was a, st a three-core street fight. <sighs> um, yeah, uh, when I say botched, it, it was very obvious. You know, the camera was in, in a close-up of, uh, of Gallows. Um, really really struggling to put the pumpkin on his on his head and um, Cass telling him what to do and then there was the DDG which is a very apt name uh, you know more so than the 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 uh, Bada Boom Shakalaka uh, but yeah and then Cass won haha <laughs> nullifying the victory at Hell in a Cell um, what else was there? Uh, Braun Strowman was a little bit pissed 
let's be honest, was a little bit pissed at um, at uh, uh, Mick Foley because he felt like you know only increasing the amount of jobbers he would face wasn't enough, uh, and Mick Foley was very much impressed by that, so he put him in a in a battle royal later in the evening to uh, determine one of the members of Team Raw. Um, the New Day was were, were dressed up as three of the of the gimmings of uh, the great Charles Wright, you know, Godfather, um, the uh, I think it was Papa Shango and uh, and uh, Kama, yeah, Kama Mustafa was it? Was that his name in the Nation of Domination? It was something like that. Um, so yeah, very very funny uh, thing where they uh, dissed the teams of SmackDown, you know, saying, uh, well, we don't watch SmackDown, um, Xavier Woods, because he has D&D on Tuesdays, and uh, yeah, they they said, rip in peace to, to Francesca too, because, well, she's dead. Um, yeah, it was probably the most, most entertaining uh, thing Raw had to propose yesterday night. Um, and, uh, well, apparently, American Alpha are, you know, true baby faces, because even even um, the new day don't don't have anything to to say about them, so uh, yeah. Uh, what else was there? Mm, well, there was the, the the battle royal that Braun Strowman won. You know, uh, the last man against him was uh, Sami Zayn. I mean, how much more uh, you know obvious than that could it be? You know, it won't. It was just after a segment, you know, in ring, where uh, Jericho refused to put anyone on the list, especially Roman Reigns, who thought that, you know, he would, uh, he he was being clever, saying I couldn't find a costume of a stupid idiot because they didn't have any Chris Jericho costume uh, uh, anywhere, uh, you know, when they could have, he could have just said the scarf, you know. At this point, the scarf is what makes Chris Jericho Chris Jericho. So yeah, it was too long-winded. It, it made him made him look like the stupid idiot. So yeah, Jericho Owens and Roman Reigns are in the team in or in Team Raw, alongside Braun Strowman, who apparently counts for two, as you know the graphic said, the final member of Team Raw. Yeah, sure. What about that? You know, five on four. <laughs> of course. Um, but yeah, that meant that, you know, um, Jericho was so pissed at Roman Reigns that he even went as far as challenging him for the US title uh, in the main event, which Roman accepted. Uh, so yeah, um, there was the celebration of, uh, of, uh, of Charlotte's uh, victory. Oh yeah, there was a uh, Roman sucks chant, which really isn't good because, you know, it feels like the... the there is a lot of there are a lot of angles made just so that we can have some sympathy for Roman Reigns and they are all failing like he he barely even gets a reaction when he gets one it's booze it's it's Roman sucks yeah um, uh, there was a celebration so yeah of uh, Charlotte's win you know victory in Hell in a Cell where she said uh, well I mean uh, I, I didn't catch all of it, but then uh, she said that she was the captain of, of Team Raw, and she called up Bailey and said, "I don't want any weaklings in my in my team." So she made her face Nia Jax, and the reaction when she faced Nia Jax was, you know, pretty much, um, <laughs> "Oh yeah, she's still here," um, and uh, yeah, just so that you could really understand that Bailey wasn't going to win. Charlotte said, "This is not NXT." You know, because Bailey fought and won against Nia Jax on NXT. So thank you for the reminder. Uh, yeah, Nia Jax won. Um, she really crushed uh, <laughs> Bailey. That's that's not cool. Um, anyway, yeah, uh, there was a match for the cruiserweight title between T.J. Perkins and the new champion, Br the Brand Kendrick, that Kendrick lost via. Uh, count out, but um, T.J. Perkins wouldn't have it. You know, uh, he he got dropped on he dropped himself on on his on his neck. You know, on the the apron of the ring that was pr 
pretty disgusting. Um, <laughs> like, oh, I had, you know, I suddenly felt bad every time they showed the replay. But, you know, he's fine. He beat the knee bar on the outside because he was pissed, which is not very baby face, you know. You, you wouldn't think that this was the baby face champion doing the, you know, well, the baby face contender doing that. A knee bar really isn't a very face um, finisher, at any rate. Uh, so yeah, T T J Perkins was pissed, but he he won, and yet he's not the champion. Uh, I do think that if that happened on SmackDown, the match would have restarted because you know we've seen that time and time again when uh, Shane was running was running the place, and. Uh, you know, you'd think that on SmackDown he would do the same thing. Uh, so yeah. Mm, what else was there? Um, there was the Shining Stars facing uh, facing Sheamus and uh, and Cesaro and losing. Um, it's a bit of a shame that they don't build anything on on what happened in Talking Smack last week. You know, saying uh, when. Uh, um, Heath Slater said that he bought uh, shares of Puerto Rico. That I mean, it, why? You know why? Just why? I guess because is the best answer, but uh, that's not a very satisfactory answer, is it? Um, yeah. Uh, it's uh, apparently it's kind of a thing, you know, when you you lose uh, your shot at a title. Uh, and you are in a team or you are a team, well, you go face the Shining Stars and sometimes you win, as Seamus and Cesaro showed, or sometimes you lose, as Enzo and Cass showed. Ha, that was a lot of bullshit having Cass lose to, uh, having Enzo and Cass lose to the, the Shining Stars barely after Cass was in a title match for the Universal Championship, you know? So, uh, yeah. Um, I want to say that there were more things, but I don't really m remember anything but the big moments, like the US title match being very brutal and ending uh, by a disqualification because Owens uh, saw that Jericho was going to lose, so they beat up uh, Roman Reigns, and uh, well, once uh, Roman Reigns was down and out, uh, Seth Rollins came out. I feared that he would come out before because it would have looked like you know the 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 guys made up, but uh, obviously they didn't. I mean, I hope that if next week there is a tag match between Rollins and Reigns and uh, Jericho and Owens, there's something backstage where where Reigns says, "Yeah, I don't really trust you because last two years you kind of fucked me," you know. And uh, Ron said, "Yeah, well, I mean, I don't. We don't need the, really the trust. We we just need to be a team for tonight, uh, <laughs> and obviously at Survivor Series. Because why the fuck wouldn't uh, Seth Rollins be on Team Raw? You know, wouldn't make sense that uh, <laughs> there is all those guys and Braun Strowman and not Seth Rollins. <laughs> that 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 doesn't make sense." Um, and on, on the other hand, there's probably going to be AJ Styles, uh, John, no, 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 maybe not John Cena, Dean Ambrose, sure. Uh, Ziggler and The Miz, maybe? Nah, I don't see it. Uh, maybe James Ellsworth, you know, <laughs> that could be really fun. Uh, yeah, probably Orton and Bray, though, rather than The Miz and, uh, and uh, Ziggler. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to remember things about about Raw because it was a very long show and uh, <coughs> stuff happened and I, I feel like I'm, I'm missing on so much that happened but uh, yeah I don't think there was much more than well what I talked about um, yeah there was the a six-man tag with the, the cruiserweights uh, Sin Cara got Halloween off so it was Lindsay Dorado, Rich Swan, and Cedric Alexander, who won against Tunis Rugulak and Arya Daivari. Nothing much to say, you know, it was 
the flips and it was some techn something technical. I think that a Gulak versus Swan rivalry, you know, well crafted, could be amazing. Then again, the Cruiserweights, I still think that they are wasted on Raw because the crowds they are today, there's just really nothing to do with them. Uh, so, yeah. Um, there was an awful lot of, of ad breaks on Raw. Jesus Christ. There was one break when Sami Zayn entered. There was one break after Braun Strowman entered. And there was barely anything to talk about between those two breaks. Like, they, they presented at various points in the evening uh, people of the WWE Universe being raised up as, as wrestlers. And that was one of the moments, like... They 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 came back from an ad break, showed people dressed up at, as wrestlers. Braun Strowman entered, ding ding ding, ad break. <laughs> what? You know they showed, you know, the zany antics with. Um, uh, I mean Byron Saxton. He's he's the worst. He was dressed as in, in a in a in a footy pajama. You know, like a, he was in a onesie. And it was cringy as fuck. Ugh. Uh, they showed uh, the golden truth going in a in a haunted house, and uh, at the end of the day, uh, at the end, uh, Goldust was the one most most scared. Um, he wasn't really really very good. Um, but I am looking up to to SmackDown as you know the promo for SmackDown was pretty fucking amazing because all the way through besides the the voiceover the only person to to speak was James Ellsworth and that's fucking amazing like he is probably the most over superstar on SmackDown and he doesn't even have uh, a, a WWE full-time deal it's just amazing anyway uh, thanks for watching see you tomorrow bye bye it's been, it's a little bit hot.